Donald Trump has been arrested in Fulton County, Georgia. The United States has gone full banana republic. This is the first time a former president has been arrested, fingerprinted, and had his mugshot taken. Trump is facing over 700 years and 70 different felonies. It is very obvious the Democrats do not want him to run for president again, and he's the leading Republican candidate. He skipped the Republican debate to do an interview with Tucker Carlson, which got over 200 million views in just one day, dwarfing the Fox News ratings. The United States, you know, is going down a place it can't go back from. Once one side starts weaponizing the Justice Department against one candidate, when the other side gets power, they are going to arrest the Democratic, you know, candidate the next time. This is a very slippery slope, and I know half the country is excited about him being arrested. They're not looking at this long term because this same strategy could be used against their candidates. And it's not too far before, you know, people think that the political process isn't working and they take to the streets. So a lot of people ask me in my comments, like, oh, why should I get a residency in Paraguay and all these other, you know, countries? Because of this, the United States is, is not heading in the right direction. I watched the Republican debate. It's the same old politicians saying the same old thing. And, you know, nothing's going to change. They're going to keep printing money. They're going to drive inflation. And, you know, the currency is going to have a lot of problems and the economy is going to have a lot of problems. And you're not going to have to worry about, you know, the, keeping people out of the southern border. You're going to they're going to be keeping you in because at one point, all the intelligent people, all the wealth, all the big businesses are going to be trying to leave. And the politicians are going to be trying to stop them from leaving. So I think if you are interested in getting a Plan B residency or a second citizenship abroad, now is the time because this next election is going to be wild. And, you know, we are going to be entering uncharted, you know, territory where you might start seeing, you know, political assassinations like you do in Russia. So follow me, the Bitcoin capitalist, and check out the link in the bio if you're interested.